everybody. Welcome back. It's Sunday again. It's Shirley. And I am a person living with dissociative identity disorder. That's hard to say. Try to say it 10 times fast. Or otherwise known as DID. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about misdiagnosis today. Um, as all, most of you probably know, um, psychiatrists often get our diagnosis wrong. Instead of diagnosis, diagnosing us with DID, they diagnosis with bipolar or, or a, a borderline personality disorder or simply depression or anxiety when there's something else going on, you know, um, that is from a lack of training. Uh, a lot of them received little training. I mean, I read an article where, by a psychiatrist who got one paragraph in a book about dissociative identity disorder, and that's not enough to help anybody. Um, and, uh, um, uh, Finding a, th a therapist or a psychiatrist who will treat DID is hard enough, but it hampers us when they give us the wrong diagnosis. Um, it can it can set back your healing for years, years because they don't they either don't believe in it or they don't know how to treat it. And they can't say they don't know how to treat it. You know, a lot of doctors can't say I don't know those three magic words, um, and it makes it hard for us. Now, if you want to find a therapist that treats DID or, or, or a psychiatrist or any mental health professional that would help you with your DID, uh, there are places online to go to search for a doctor or a therapist or a psychiatrist who treats it. Um, you can go to psych, psych, I see we'll get this right now, psychology.com. They have a find a, find a therapist website. Um, you can go to, was it good, good, ooh, I've forgotten. If you want to find out the, the uh, all of the, well, there's only three that I found online, um, uh, go to my website at learnaboutdid.com. I have a list, uh, I wrote an article about misdiagnosis and I have a list of places you can go to search for a therapist and also a list of hospitals that treat it. Uh, there are three major hospitals in the United States that treat uh, DID. Um, but getting treatment shouldn't be this hard. It's even harder in the United Kingdom where um, they have a different type of, of uh, medical system and even fewer of their doctors understand it. Um, on average, a person who has DID will wait 11 years before they get the proper diagnosis. I was very lucky. I got it in the first year. But that was absolutely unusual. Um, yeah, and uh, I guess really not much more to say about that, except that if you need help, please reach out. And don't discount your local hospital, your local psych ward. They may not be able to treat your DID, but they can stabilize you if you get suicidal or just absolutely exhausted. You know, um, you can go in there and uh, check yourself in and uh get some rest and get stabilized on some medication for depression or anxiety or whatever it is you need. And uh, just don't discount them. And if you need to go, please do. Don't be afraid. I've been to a, psychi into a psych ward 30 times. And only one instance did I have where I wasn't, wasn't comfortable and was, uh, they had me diagnosed with a different diagnosis, totally a borderline personality disorder. And they treated me horrible. I don't care if I did have B BPD. I didn't even deserve to be treated that way. Um, anyway, so, but, but most of the, most of the time, psychi psychiatric, uh, their wards are a safe place to recoup and, uh, do so. If you need to go to the hospital, you do so. But anyway, let's, Beside the point of misdiagnosis, but I wanted to put that in there. Um, I will try to get the links to the three sites you can look, you can search. It's so you can search by your area and by the type of help you need. If you can't find a person that treats DID, look for someone who treats dissociative disorders. If you can't find that, look for trauma informed therapists. Um, they have, a, they, they may not have distinct training in DID, which most, almost all of them don't. Um, but they may be able to help you anyway. So, um, that's all I had to say today. Um, I hope y'all are doing well. I really appreciate the 206 people of you that have, uh, have, uh, uh, follow, follow my, my, um, channel 
I really appreciate that. Uh, I'm humbled because I don't do much. I just get on here and talk <laughs> for a few minutes. But I appreciate you very much. And I hope you have a good weekend. Okay, bye-bye.